Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right, all right. I'm really, really thankful that Xiaomi released this particular update. There were a lot of betas that were released and the stable update was nowhere to be seen. And out of the blue, they have released MIUI 10.3.5. Now they have included a few notable improvements over here. A few of you have already requested me to check the touch and all the other things. Today's video, we will install it. We'll have a look at the change log and we will get the initial impressions. So tomorrow the OxygenOS beta 2 video will go out. From now, I'll be using this stable update as my daily driver for 24 to 48 hours. We will drop in a full review. Should give you a clarity as to is it better than a stable ROM. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so here we are, finally a stable update for the Pocophone F1. Now let's quickly have a look before we actually go ahead and update. Now luckily I was already on the latest stable ROM available that is 10.3.4. If we have a look at the security patch on this one, it was all the way 1st of March. 2019 that does give us a perspective as to how long it has taken Xiaomi to give a new incremental update now of course the security patch Android 9 and all the usual things are there system update here so let's see what they have to say in the change log from 10.3.4 to 10.3.5 it says updated Android security patch to May 2019 that's increased system security and lock screen status bar notifications shade so introducing customized lock screen clock settings lock screen screen password advanced something we saw in the betas new lock screen clock doesn't work with third-party themes settings optimize sorting principles for Wi-Fi networks fixed dual apps disappeared after reboot so that's all it says if you were to go from 10.3.4 to 10.3.5 but let's have a you know detailed perspective before we actually go ahead and update it all right now here's a more detailed look at everything that is included in the stable update some of these things will be included from previous updates and some of these things might be new to you if you're using a custom rom for the last few months and directly coming to 10.3.5 so of course uh, lock screen clock format you have new modes for ai camera wide wide l1 they have given game turbo boost i hope the newer version is there Ending calls took longer, status bar shortcut has been fixed, face unlock, face unlock for app lock, 4K 60 FPS and NFC shortcut in the notifications shade. So all those things are included including face unlock in app lock and in order to update to this particular version, if you are on a locked bootloader, you will get an OTA update. You can just go ahead and update it that way. But if you are on TWRP with an unlocked bootloader, I will leave a link for the full ROM which you can copy to your phone's internal memory flash it using TWRP and flash DFE and Magisk. As well, if you are on stock recovery, you can just go to settings, about phone, system update, and then over here, if you tap this 10 times, you will have additional settings for updates available. So you can simply go ahead and tap the three dots and select the file from the internal memory. So you can update that way as well. For now, let's quickly go to reboot now and install the update. It will take around two to three minutes for the update to be installed. Let's wait for the installation to finish. All right, so as you can see, the phone has been successfully updated. It says updated MIUI successfully. The same change log over here. Now, let's see over here if there is any change. Now, they have mentioned that they have included the new touch driver, uh, not to give them false praise, but I should say that uh, I was on 10.3.4 for a day and I've just moved to 10.3.5. I can already feel the touch snappiness, as you can see. Somebody told me, check the typo error as well. Now remember, I will be doing a full complete review of this particular update and uh, we will go ahead and check all those things as well. But uh, let's type in some things over here. And let's see if there are any typo errors, H-E, LLO Hello there How are you? 
So yeah, the typo error doesn't seem to be there at the same time. Let's have a look at the game speed booster. Now let's quickly go to security here and let's see what game speed booster we have. So let's look for game speed booster altogether. Oh no. So this is still the old boot animation for the game speed booster. This is still the old, old game speed booster. It doesn't have all the, you know, DND mode and stuff like that. And I will be testing PUBG and the benchmark numbers in the full review of this particular update. Now, if we go to settings here and if we go to about phone, you will notice that this is 10.3.5. Of course, this is based on Android 9 Pi and the security patch is May 2019. So that is a good thing. And uh, if we go to additional settings over here, do we have anything new? Button gesture shortcuts. Okay, nothing new there. So more or less, these, this is an incremental update. But what I must say is a couple of you guys did mention that I am holding on to the update till the time you put out your review. Now remember guys, this update has just come out today. I cannot give you a detailed review right now without using it. That will be me giving you false information. But what I would say is from the first impressions, it looks definitely better than 10.3.4. I really hope it doesn't have any heating or lagging issues in PUBG and all the other ben benchmark apps and stuff like that. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the launcher version before we conclude this particular video. I'm pretty sure that would have been updated as well. That is 2.6.7.9 and we can also go ahead and have a look at the camera if there are any new features for the AR mode and stuff like that. So the AI camera mode is there and yeah, that's me ugly me there <laughs> all right so more or less uh, this is an incremental update i am really really glad all the things most of the things that were there in beta xiaomi have bought them to the stable update and i really hope this does justice to all the xiaomi users who've stuck onto device this device for a very very long time so let me know in the comment section how did you find this preview and install process of the 10.3.5 update for the poco phone f1 do stay tuned for tomorrow's video that is the latest oxygen os beta 2 with some fixes and on monday we should have a review of this guy over here so until the next one this is kalash signing off with smartphone tutorials and before i go please do like this video and support the channel it doesn't cost you anything and do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because i upload almost every single day see ya guys take care and keep smiling